the people of God is Pastor Jeremiah, also known as Pastor Loic, who would like to hear the word of God for the week. But before we do so, let us start with a word of prayer. So in reverence to our Heavenly Father, our God, let us bow our head and let us pray. Blessed Savior, glorious Father, Almighty King, the only true God, we thank you, we bless you, we exalt you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this any opportunity that you're giving unto us to be found in your presence. We completely surround ourselves unto you, body, soul, and sweet mind and heart. We pray that you take control of the air, the atmosphere, the heaven above us and around us in us. And you manifest your mercy upon us, asking for your compassion. For whatever we may have done, said or thought that is not honor or glorify you, forgive us, we pray. Sanctify us, purify us with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Make us white in our snow. And we stand against anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of the truth. We bound it and cast it into the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. And we proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Blessed Savior, we pray. May you take us deeper and deeper into the understanding and the revelation of your truth, of your word. We thank you for doing so in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we're going to take our main passage of the Holy Scripture in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. So we're reading the Word of God in the book of Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 30. In the name of Jesus Christ, we read it. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country, who called his own servant and delivered his good to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents and likewise he who had received two gain two more also but he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his lord's money after a long time the lord of those servants came and settled account with them so he who had received five talents came and brought five other talent saying lord you deliver to me five talents look i have gained five more talents besides them his lord said to him well done good and faithful servant you were faithful over a few things i will make you ruler over many things enter into the joy of your lord he also who had received two talents came and said lord you deliver to me two talents look i have gained two more talent besides them his lord said to him well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful over few things i will make you ruler over many things enter into the joy of your lord then he who had received the one talent where and uh, came and said lord i knew you to be a hard man reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed and i was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground look there you have what is yours but his lord answered and said to him you wicked and lazy servant you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers and at my coming, I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has 10 talents. For to everyone who has, more will be given and he will have abundance but from him who does not have even what he has will be taken away and cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness there will be weeping 
and gnashing of teeth. May the Lord bless his word. May it come full of understanding, revelation, grace, life, and blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. So for this week, the Lord would like to speak to us about the unprofitable or useless servant. The unprofitable servant or the useless servant. Amongst the people who will miss the rapture will be found the unprofitable or useless servant. And our main passage of the Holy Scripture tells us that the unprofitable or useless servant is the one who hid into the ground the talent that his master had entrusted unto him. The ground represents the world. Hence, the unprofitable or useless servant is the servant to whom God has blessed with a natural ability or a spiritual gift. And yet, this servant lets the world shock or hinder his natural talent or spiritual gift. Such servant let the world swallow or overwhelm the talent or the gift. Hence, such people will miss the rapture. And Jesus Christ said in Revelation chapter 22 verse 12, and behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. The servant who has hidden his talent in the ground, is someone who has lost his particularity. He has lost his uniqueness. He has lost the talent or the gift that has been entrusted unto him. And Jesus Christ who is the giver of talent and gift, will come to do the inventory of everything that he has entrusted unto every person. Hence, everybody will have to give an account of whatsoever talent or gift he has received from God. It is therefore very dangerous to have a talent or a gift and let the world triumph over your talent or gift. It is perilous to have been entrusted a talent or a certain gift and yet you allow the world to shock your talent or your gift. The man who gave talent to his servant and then traveled to a far country as mentioned in our main passage of the Holy Scriptures represents Jesus Christ for the word of God says in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 7 to 8 but unto every one of us is given grace according to the merger of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he says, when he ascended up on high, in other words, when Christ ascended to heaven, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. So Jesus Christ gave gifts before he ascended, while he ascended to heaven. And the servant who received the talent are people to whom God has given responsibilities in the body of Christ. And we see that when the master came back, he requested that the talent be taken away from the one who hid his talent in the ground. Hence, we need to understand what caused the talent to be taken away from such a servant. And we can outline six reasons that will cause someone to lose his talent or gift. The first reason is the absence of the master. The master gave the talent and then he traveled. This means that Jesus Christ, through his Holy Spirit, has poured his spiritual gift upon certain people on the earth and he went to heaven. This implies that Jesus Christ is not monitoring the people to whom he has given his gifts for Jesus Christ will only come at the end in order to do the inventory of what everyone would have done with the talent or gift hence Jesus Christ is trusting the person to whom he has given his talent or gift to make good use of it it is therefore very important for every person not to abuse the trust of God you should not assume that because God is trusting you with his talent or gift that you should do whatsoever you want with it. You need to understand that it is your duty to fully rely on God to make good use 
of the talent or gift he has entrusted unto you. The fact that no one is putting pressure on you to efficiently or effectively use the talent that God has given unto you must not make you think that you can do whatsoever you want with the talent or gift that God has given unto you. Many people, for some futile arguments or misunderstanding, they may have had with the pastor or with other church members, they will decide to stop serving God, thus rendering the talent or gift inactive. People should know that they will have to give an account for what God has entrusted unto them. And this is why Jesus Christ said the following in Matthew chapter 24 in verse 45 to 30, 46. Matthew chapter 24 verse 45 to 20, 46 which says, Who then is a faithful and wise servant? Whom his law has made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant whom is Lord, when he comes, shall find him so doing. So, it is crucial for Jesus Christ to find you doing what he has called you to do on the face of the earth when he will return. The second reason why someone may lose his talent or spiritual gift is ignorance ignorance Romans chapter 12 verse 4 to 8 says for as we have many members in one body and all members have not the same office so we being many are one body in Christ and every one members one of another having them gift differing according to the grace that is given to us whether prophecy let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith or ministry let us wait on our ministering or he that teach on teaching or he that exhorts exhort on exhortation he that gives let him do it with simplicity he that rules with diligence he that show mercy with cheerfulness every believer should therefore know and understand that it is that he is a member of the body of Christ and as there are diverse members in one body so are the believers thus as diverse can the body be so are the diversities of function that can be played in the body and so are the diversities of member that the body can have. Which means that everyone, every member of the body of Christ is unique. Every believer in Christ has a unique and specific role that God has set for him to play in the body of Christ. Hence, your function is a particularity for the body of Christ and this is an innovation that you provide to the body of Christ which other members do not have hence they cannot provide it to the body of Christ but only you have the ability to produce this particular characteristic to the body of Christ thus as a believer in Christ you are a particularity for the advancement of the body of Christ. You are an, in, an innovation for the advancement of your local church. You are particular. You are particularity for the advancement of the ministry of the church. You should therefore be very careful because you will be judged based on your particularity. And this implies that if you do not play your role, you are actually making the whole body of Christ to be deficient. Hence, you must not let what other people think or say about you stop you from fulfilling your role in the body of Christ. 
you must not allow the actions or attitude of other people prevent you from playing your role in the body of Christ for you will have to give an account of the responsibility that God has entrusted unto you in the body of Christ you will be judged according to the role you are meant to play in the body of Christ and this is why the word of God says in 1st Peter chapter 4 verse 17 for the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God and if it begins with us first what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God hence do not ignore that you are a specific you have a specific role in the body of Christ and you need to take note also of the fact that when you are hurting another member of the body of Christ you are in fact hurting yourself because you are of the same body hence the pain that you will have orchestrated you will feel it also because the whole body feels that pain if the mouth will mock the at the arms because they have been cut off from the body then how will the mouth feed itself when the body no longer has arms hence you should always bear in mind this essential truth before acting or saying something to another believer so that you will be very careful not to hurt that believer for by doing so you will be actually doing it to yourself and this is the reason why Jesus Christ commanded us to the following saying in Matthew chapter 22 verse 39 the last part of the verse it says you shall love your neighbor as yourself the third reason why someone will lose his gift or talent is bad management bad management bad management is another reason why people lose their talent or gifts for God expect everyone to fortify what has been entrusted unto him thus the one who has received one should produce two the one who has received seven should produce 14 the one who has received 20 should produce 40 and so on many people lost their gift their gift or talent because of women others because of men some because of alcohol some due to addiction to drugs some due to greed and so on this should not be the case for we are meant to fructify what god has given uh, has given us the essential of uh, the the fundamental or the what is crucial or important for men is not about what has been made of him but rather what he does with what has been made of him i repeat what is fundamental for mankind what is crucial for mankind is not about what has been made of him but rather what he does with what has been made of him you have be made an evangelist or a minister or a billionaire or an artist what do you do with what has been made of you and this is why the apostle paul said in galatians chapter 2 verse 21 he said i do not frustrate the grace of god the first part of the verse the new living translation i do not treat the grace of god as meaningless the aramaic aramaic version say i do not reject the grace of god do not treat the, the, the gift or the talent that god has entrusted unto you meaningless do not reject it the fourth reason why someone will lose or may lose his gift or talent is the lack of time. When you are always absent, when you are very busy with other things, when you are very preoccupied with other stuff, when you no longer have time to exercise your talent or gift, you will end up, you will end up losing it. 
if you let a house several years empty with no one living in it or taking care of it it will seriously deteriorate hence it will even get to a point where no one will be able to live in that house if an organ of the human body stays for a long period of time without being used it will become dysfunctional for instance if someone stays over a month only sitting down with no regular physical activity this can lead to muscular or metabolic changes that would potentially increase the risk of diabetes heart disease and possibly even premature death another example would be would, would, would be the fact that someone remain in a place that is completely dark for a very long period of time for instance over four years he stays in the dark complete dark this will affect his sight as he will have problem to see adequately once the person will return to the normal light this proves that if you do not use your talent or your gifts you will end up losing it if god has called you to do something particular you should not waste your time with unnecessary things you but you need to focus on doing it until it is complete and this is what jesus christ said in john chapter 4 verse 34 he said my meat or my food is to do the will of him that has sent me and to finish his work the last part of the verse your life is a mission that god has entrusted unto you and you are there for the missionary and the people that god has placed around you are there to accompany you to accompany you to accomplish your mission this means that your spouse your children your family your colleagues your business partners your local church your leader the people that you lead and so on are all meant to help you to fulfill the mission that god has given uh, given unto you you need therefore to make sure that you are connected to the right people you need to make sure that you read the right books watch and listen the right things because anything that is not helping you to fulfill the mission that god has entrusted unto you will be a waste of time unto you for such a thing or such a person will take time away from you to use your talent or your gift and at the end jesus christ will ask you how you have carried out your mission were you a good missionary or a bad missionary did you accomplish your mission or not what are you busy with at the moment is it what god has called you to do or not or you are busy sleeping with members of the church or as a church member you are busy having an affair with the, your pastor or you are busy partying or drinking alcohol or you are busy gossiping about others is your mission to take to make men and women of god fall into sin is, is is this what god has called you to do on earth are you busy or you are busy with the wrong things is in all this you must remember that jesus christ will ask you to give an account of your mission on earth did you fulfill it or not and this is why the apostle paul gave the following advice to timothy in second timothy chapter 4 verse 5 which says but you be watchful in all things and you affliction do the work of an evangelist fulfill your ministry the fifth reason why someone may lose his talent or gift is the influence of the world our main passage of the holy scripture tells us that 
the unprofitable or useless servant is the one who hid the talent that his master has entrusted unto him into the ground and knowing that the ground represents the world this therefore tells us that the unprofitable or useless servant are those who have rendered their talent or give inactive or non-functional because of their work their business or their worry for gaining of gaining more money and so on hence the care of, for the things of this world has made them to no longer exercise their talent or gift hence they have become unfruitful even as Jesus Christ declared in Mark chapter 4 verse 19 he says and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the loss of, uh, of other things entering in shock the world and it becomes unfruitful and this is what happened to Demas, who was a fellow servant of God for the Apostle Paul. But because of the care of this world, Demas left the Apostle Paul, even as the Apostle Paul declared in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10, which says, For Demas has forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica. This first part of the verse. This is why we see many people who used to be on fire for the things of God but as soon as they got married or when they started a new job they stopped serving God hence their talent or gift has been choked by their marriage or their job or etc etc and so on and so on the sixth and last reason that we could see is dependence 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 is the result of the care for the things of this world for as many people get involved with certain things of this world they become dependent to these things and therefore their dependence renders their talent or gift inactive for such people stop serving god in favor of the things they have become dependent of they have thus become unprofitable unto Jesus Christ hence Jesus Christ said take the talent from him cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth and this is the reason why Jesus Christ added in Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 he says no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despite the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And the book and the book of Romans add in Romans chapter 6, verse 16, he says, Know ye not that to whom you yield yourself servant to obey, his servants you are to whom you obey, whether to of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. First whosoever has let his talent or gift become inactive such a person will not be raptured by Jesus Christ whosoever does not fulfill the mission that God has entrusted unto him such a person will not be raptured by Jesus Christ and be sure that Jesus Christ would ask to everyone to give an account of what he has entrusted unto him Jesus Christ we ask you to give an account of the talent or gift that he has given unto you hence you need to make sure that you are not inactive when it comes to serving God you need to make sure that you are busy accomplishing the mission that God has conferred unto you Hence, we want to pray to say thank you Heavenly Father Almighty God Yahweh the only true God thank you for teaching for this teaching of your word and I pray about father so that you will help me not to be an unprofitable or useless servant unto you in the name of Jesus Christ and let me use efficiently and effectively the talent or gift that you have entrusted unto me always relying on you to make the best of it in the name of Jesus Christ and though you are not monitoring me I pray that you make me worthy of your trust and when you return on earth that you may find me doing the thing that you have given me to do and I also pray Heavenly Father so that you cause me to always be mindful of the fact 
that I am a member of your body and that you have given me and that and that you have given me a specific role which no one else can play in your body and being fully aware of this essential truth I pray that you make me to always take my role seriously and that I do not let anything or any situation or circumstance prevent me from fulfilling my role in the body of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. And again, I pray Abba Father so that you make me to properly manage my talent or gift in such a way that I fructify whatsoever you have entrusted unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray as well, asking you, Heavenly Father, that you help me to always find time to exercise my talent or gift, no matter the circumstance or the place I may find myself in the name of Jesus Christ. And I also implore unto you, so that you will not allow the world to choke my talent or gift, and let me not heed my talent or gift by being concerned with the things of this world. Let it not happen in the name of Jesus Christ. And again, I pray, glorious Father, asking you not to let me be dependent on anything of this world, but that I rather depend completely on you for anything and in any situation in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, King of glory, almighty Savior, Lord of lords, and King of kings. Thank you for hearing and answering me accordingly. May you be forever exalted and glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.